welcome to the third series in our introduction to python course so in this uh, video we shall be looking at python variables and under it we shall see how to define variables how to create variables assigning of variables and then python output variables now when we talk about variables what are variables now variables are containers that is used to hold value okay so in python um when you have for instance a equal okay um a equals uh, hello world so a becomes a variable okay it is a container that is used to hold hello world so that is what variables are and um, when you want to create a variable you can use double quotes just as we as we did here or you can also use single quotes a equals single quote hello world and then when we're trying to print let's uh, give this um, b okay let's print a and then let's also print b and run this you can see that the output is the same so irrespective of whether you use single quote or double quote the output is usually the same so that is how we can be able to create um, uh, variables now if we in in, in variables there is there is a uh, there is a uh, what we call casting there's what we call casting so casting is trying to change the data type of uh, a value to another uh, data type so in uh, in python there are there are several data types of uh, values now take for instance you have um age equal 34 and then we have age equal 34 and then age with a capital letter a equals 34.0 now you can see that all of them are one of the common um, items in the value is that they ha they all have 34 but let's check out the data types so now in order to check the data types of the first age we are going to call in the type function type okay or we we'll say print print type age okay let's run this let's see okay can you see the data type is an integer okay so now let's check out once we print the data type of uh, the second value so which is a capital letter h let's also run this you can see now that it is a what it is a string so it is a string because this has been assigned this has been a uh, um, it is now um uh, enclosed in a double quote so whenever you enclose values in a double quote the, that value automatically becomes a string value so now we want to see the data type of uh, the, uh, the last age or this age let's see okay so you can see that it is a floating what floating data type so because it is having the point the decimal point in it so when we are talking about casting we talk about changing the data types from one form to another from one form to another so in order to change let's say we want to we want to say um so the age which is a 34 this first age we want to change it from integer which it is here to uh, a floating data type so in order to do that we'll say um, y equals float we'll call out the uh, the function 
okay the the function that represent the data type and then we'll say float and then we want to change the age so let's print the uh, the type the data type of y let's see what it is okay so you can see so age here which is 34 we have casted the age into a floating data type and then we printed the data type to confirm that the changes have been made and you can see that it has become a float you can also do that for uh, for uh, uh, age so let's say we want to change this age which is an uh, which is a strange to uh, to an int okay so we say x equal to strange okay capital letter age so let's print the data type of x okay so you can see that so this age which is oh i'm um, not strange please int we want to change it to int okay so you can see automatically because formerly it was it was a string value just as we saw here and then now it has now changed to an integer okay an integer so whatever you can do with an integer you know such as your addition your multiplication you can also do it on this variable called x then if let's say we want to change we are talking about casting so if let's say we want to cast this uh, 34.0 to become an int so in order to make it to become uh, to become a to become a, a, a strange value a strange value now we'll say um, let's call this z equals strange okay and then we'll say uh, h and then let's print out the uh, data type of uh, z so let's see okay so can you see that so this age has been casted using the strange function okay and then we assign it to a new variable called z and when we printed out the type of z we can see that it is a strange value so this is how you can do casting in a in a python variable changing from one form to another so now there are several rules okay in uh, in python there are several rules in python now one of the things that you have to keep in mind is that you don't have to start um, a variable with a number so that is one of the first rule you don't start a variable with a number so let's say we create a new cell here and then we want to uh, we want to create a cell and we start the cell with three okay three H equals 23. So let's print out the 3 H. Okay, so you can see, so it will produce what an error. And if you see this, uh, this, um, uh, this arrow, this forward arrow here, you can see that it is pointing towards 3. So 3 is the error that it is showing so that means that in, in in creating variables you don't start with an integer then the next thing you want to know is that in creating variables you must start with either an underscore or an alphabet so if we say age underscore age and then we want to print underscore age look at this okay so you can see that it printed us 23 and then of course you know the alphabet which is uh, h and then when we, when we try to run this okay so these are the rules the first one you don't you you don't start with a number the second is that you must start with um with an alphabet or um, an integer and then the next rule you want to know is that um is that python variables are case sensitive now if you look at this age and this age and this age 
you can see that in as much as they all have the same pronunciation you can see that the spellings are, are different so when whenever you are calling this age it will not override this age so the variables are case sensitive so that means anytime you are creating a variable name you have to be careful okay as um as a, as a as a python developer you have to be very careful on creating a variable name so that whenever you are working you know which variable name to call at any point in time so these are some of the rules that you can that are very important to take note when creating variable and then in assigning um, um variables there are very there are there are different techniques in assigning variable so the first one I want to look at is what we call the snake technique. The snake technique. Okay, so in the snake technique, what you know, what you see here is that let's take for instance I want to write uh, my okay variable name. Okay, and then my variable name I attach the value missed the analyst okay so now I print this my underscore variable name okay so this is the snake technique so in the snake technique of assigning variables there is always an underscore okay and then the next one we'll call the Pascal technique the Pascal scheme and the Pascal technique let's go with that so in the Pascal technique you have capital letter starting the um, each word okay capital letter starting each word and then there is no underscore so I also assign this and then when I print this I print my okay when I run this you can see it is the same thing okay and then the next one is the camel case this case you have the small letter starting um, the, the variable name while the rest of the uh, words are in uh, capital letter and small letter mixed together so you have some missed the analyst. okay so let me print this So these are the techniques that are uh, that are used in um, assigning variable and of course you are not limited to these techniques at all they are a lot and you can choose your own style you can choose your own style you can decide to say okay I want I want to use um, my And remember there is no space when assigning variable names there is no space okay and then you can choose to say okay call all of them as a capital letter okay then you, know, you can you can give it um, your own style they are all you are permitted but you have to just take note of the rules that there are no you don't start with um, with a with a uh, 
with uh, a number and then also you don't include symbols and then you must start with an underscore or an alphabet then the next thing we want to see is how to assign multiple values in python variables how to assign multiple values in python variables now let's take for instance you want to um, first of all the first one is assigning one value to multiple variables okay so let's take for instance you have x y z y y equals z z equals orange okay so let's print out x let's print out y and then let's print out z so when we run this you can see that all of them produce the value all orange so this is one value that has been assigned to multiple what, variables so this is quite quite important let's say you are talking about the um the class that the child belongs to so you put um, the child's name here you put another child's name here and another child's name here, and then you say all of them belongs to this particular class in their school so it's very very easy when you are calling when you are calling out the child then the next one is assigning multiple multiple values to multiple variables okay so you have x comma y comma z okay well, let's go with a b c a comma b b comma c equals and then we'll give this as a let's say orange or let's go with mango and then we have um, guava and then we have um, lemon okay so now let's print a let's print b let's print um, c so let's see what this will give to us before that i want to comment this out comment it and then i'll run this okay so you can see so you have mango guava and uh, lemon so a mango is assigned to the variable a guava is assigned to the variable b lemon is assigned to the variable c so this is how you assign multiple values to multiple variables now the next thing we want to look at is python output variables so how we can output variables now one of the things you have to take note of is that is that um the the you can you can you can print out um, um, um python variables using the print statement just as we have been doing here okay so take for instance you want to uh you want to add up um, a value with another value so uh, let's take for instance you can say a equals 34 and then b equals 12 so you want to add up these two values you can come down and assign the addition to a new variable okay a plus b and then let's print out c okay Okay, so you can see that so this is an output what output uh, variable so it has repeated this for us as the answer so now sometimes you can also decide that you don't want it to be a number so let's say um, is awesome and then let's say python okay you can see the space that I left here. This is a white space. A equals Python. B equals is awesome. And then the addition of these two values, okay, we added the two variables to become a new variable called C. So let's print as let's see. Okay, so you can see 
python is awesome so this is how you can actually um, work with python output a variable also you can use the f string okay the f string format or the formatting string so formatting string so in doing that we'll say um, let's say this is name equals some is the analyst and then um, language equals um, Python. Okay, so we can we can use uh, my info. Let's let's call this my info. Equals f. Okay, can you see that? This is a double quote, and then I say my name is. I put in this. Okay, name and. Uh, I love language. Okay, language is in small letter L. So if I were to run this now, let's say I print my info. Okay, so can you see that? So it has it has sputed my name is Sam is the analyst and I love Python. So this is the way you can be able to output what variables. So we have multiple variables here, name and then language. So I use the F format, okay, the, uh, the uh, formatting string. I use it to, um, to combine these two uh, variables in one statement and uh, printed it out using the print statement. So this is all for um, Python variables. And in the next class, we shall be looking at um, we shall be looking at Python operators. So goodbye, and um, see you in the next class.